Hi, I'm Mick with American Air Cannons, and today we're going to be building the MPC Potato Launcher Cannon. And I just want to give you an overview of the tools we'll be using, and you need to have these to be able to follow along with this video. Alright, to start with, we're going to need some PVC glue, some PVC primer. I use a little Phillips ratchet drive screwdriver, a 5 16 nut driver, a 7 16 open end box wrench, a 9 16 open end box wrench, we've got a quarter inch drill, a 7 16 inch drill, and we have a quarter inch NPT pipe threader here. And that's pretty much all you need to put this cannon together, and it goes together in about 20 minutes. So when you get your box, it'll just come like this with your kit in it. Just pull the parts out, the barrel. Go ahead and toss the box. You should have a box full of parts right here. So we'll pull these out. Make sure everything's in there. Go ahead and toss that box. First thing I like to do is I'll pull out the uh, sprinkler valve. Go ahead and toss that box. And we've got a little black thing here that engages the valve. We don't need this. We're going to toss that out too. First thing I do is I need to drill out the lid right here. I got to do this and this will allow us to put our trigger assembly in. So first thing I'm going to do is undo the parts. Just simply take these screws out. There's eight of them. Get them all loosened. You can just pull them out by hand. Make sure you hold on to these because we're going to use them later when we put it back together. What I do is I hold it with the, the hole here at the top and you just pry it apart with your hand. It'll pop right out. And you'll notice that there's a spring inside. So you have three pieces now, the lid, the spring, and the housing here. So don't lose your spring. Now the next thing we'll do is we're gonna drill out this lid right here. And we just use a regular drill press. What I do is I have a little vise here. I put it in, bottom up. So this little part is facing up. That way it sits flat. Just stick it in there, start your press, and just take your time and go slowly with it so you get a nice clean drill. And then just drill it out. When you're done, got a nice clean hole in here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to thread the hole for the trigger assembly. And what I've got here is a quarter inch NPT threader I just got at Home Depot and we'll just stick it in there stick it in with your hand and with your 7 16 wrench we just thread it on there just take our time and just turn the lid and start threading it I'll work it back and forth a little bit, get nice clean threads in there. And I usually go about three quarters of the way up until it gets really tight. And there you have it. The lid is all threaded for our trigger assembly. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to fill this hole and you're going to fill this hole with either JB Weld or you can throw some uh, silicone in there, whatever you want to do, and let it sit overnight. So let's pretend that we went ahead and we filled both these holes, it sat overnight, it's all filled up in there, it's glued, it's good to go. The next thing we want to do is empty out our parts bag here, and you should have a nipple in there, a box with a, a gauge, two of your nipples for the cannon, a Schrader valve for filling the air and your trigger assembly. So, now this thing is sat overnight. We have both holes filled. We're just going to screw in our, our nipple here. Now we use the 9 16 box wrench and tighten it up nice and snug. Don't overdo it. Put the spring back in. It fits right over 
this little piece in here, this little guide, and it goes on here. Make sure there's nothing in there. Sandwich it down on there. Put your screws back in. And what I do is I start at one end and tighten it down kind of like a gasket on your car. I go to the opposite end and tighten that one down next so we've got a nice flat even tightening. Skip over, go back to this end over here, get that one, go to the opposite side, get this one down here, and just kind of skip around. The reason I do that is I want it to, the seat evenly so we don't pinch the gasket or get any uh, gaps in there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the, the body assembly, the chamber together. So that's real easy to do. What I do is I start with the big sleeve here, put a little primer in there, make sure you get a good one. Do both ends while you have it. Saves a little bit of time. Now this piece, we're going to prime that one as well. This is going to go in there. Got that done. You can go ahead and do the inside of it for this small piece here. I'm going to prime that guy too. I kind of prime all these guys, get them ready to go, and then you can just slap it together. Go ahead and do the end cap. Let that sit. And the last one is just this little piece of PVC pipe that I cut. It comes with your kit pre-cut. We do both sides of this on the outside. Make sure you get a good coating on there. So that's ready to go. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to drill out these things once we put it together. So we let this stuff dry, get our glue ready to go here, and we're going to start putting the chamber together.